So one of the limitations of the VLOOKUP function is that the data that you want to return has to be to the right of the data that you're looking up. The XLOOKUP function, on the other hand, it doesn't matter if your return array is to the right or the left of your lookup values. And that's a strength of the formula because what it means is, is that there's a wider range of use cases where you can use it. And it also means that whereas before with a VLOOKUP formula, you'd perhaps have to rearrange your data if you still wanted to use it. With the XLOOKUP formula, you don't have to worry about rearranging the order of your columns. So we're going to run through a quick example just to illustrate this point. So we've got the top 100 films from the Internet Movie Database over here, their position in column A and the movie title in column B. Now the position is going to be our return array and the movie title is going to be our lookup value, our lookup array. So if we do a XLOOKUP formula, just open it up, specify our lookup value. So we're going to return the position for the Lion King film and then specify our lookup array cells and it's going to be all of these cells here, lock those and then we're going to specify our return array cells and as you can see these are over to the left and this is where this would be problematic if you're using a VLOOKUP function. It's going to specify all those, lock those as best practice and then close this formula off, hit enter and you can see that our formula works just fine. We get position 34 and if we scroll down, we can see that the Lion King film is here in position 34. So the XLOOKUP function is working just fine. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.